Let us see trim and extend feature in SOLIDWORKS. This feature is really important when uh, you have weldments which are intersecting the one like this over here. This intersection will cause problems for manufacturing and also for an analysis. To, ex to trim this, we have trim extend feature which is located in insert weldments to extend. This feature, if visible in this plane, is quite useful because you have to do this multiple times. To add this weldment section over here, just right click on the plane and check weldments. So once in trim weldment, you have four features over here. One is end trim, end meter, end butt, and end butt two. So let us see all this. This end miter will produce a corner joint, something like this. You see, the, the whole of the contact surface of this member is in contact with this. This feature, end trim, produces something like this. It leaves one of the members as it is, but extends and intersects the other member so that there is actually no space in between them this end trim and this one produce a butt joint whereas one of the member is extended and other surface is butted on the surface of the previous member something like this and the end butt 2 is similar uh, just that which one butts on whom is changed having looked at this let us go and solve a real life real time problem i have a structure i made uh, which has a problem of the members going out of this member this usually happens if your structural member class is different from other structural member class for example this is in structural member 1 and this is in structural member 6 so it's perfectly fine if you have different groups of your members but uh, solving this will be something like this so i do want I, I want this member to be uh, to remain as it is this will be my trimming body now it's not usually straight simple out uh, to have perfect cut you have to do trim extend multiple times it's more of more usual of a trial and error so okay, let us begin so i'll see if end trim will work for this okay so as you see this is producing a good result but there is a you know body that is coming out of it now uh, you can select this and see you want this body to keep or you want it to discard and always have this coped you know if it is not go the the surface will not intersect to the other, other surface this is this feature is useful if we have different cross section of the two members which are intersecting uh, if it is straight uh, surfaces there is not much of this let us uh, let's go ahead and do that still hit ok you see <coughs> Now, if you select this, the, the, the highlight doesn't go beyond the structure, though we are good with this. But you see, still, this uh, member below is interesting, this member and also this member. Now again, let us go ahead and hit trim extend. This time, we'll select this member. And our trimming boundary will be this. So once again, you can see this. This shows me this body can be discarded or kept, or this body can be discarded or kept. Obviously, I would like to keep this body. I would like to discard this body. <coughs> what it does is basically uh, it splits this member with the boundary member like this. So I go ahead and go with cop body. And hit okay. 
Okay. You didn't know we are we are it looks good, but still we're not done with it. Because this even though this and this boundaries are not intersecting, uh this and this are this side. So let's again go ahead with trim and extend. Now let's see. Let's see with end trim first what are the results we get. Okay, but you see this is intersecting over here. Let's go ahead with this. No, we don't want that. So let's select this body. And now our trimming body would be this and this. So you see it cuts nicely on the surface of these two bodies. And let's hit OK. Now you see this member intersects both without without going into each other. If you say like this, this also have a neat profile. If you say this, this comes, uh, this is coincident with this body, and this surface is coincident with that body. And our main body is still intact. I hope this helps. Thank you. Before going, let us solve one more of this type of uh, trim extent problem. Now I'll just go ahead and do it. As I have already explained. So there you go, perfect neat joint. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. So yeah. 
this uh, good coping around the members uh, it's very useful if you are doing analysis it uh, doesn't intersect with the elements of this member into this element and gives you exact results so and also for manufacturing to know the accurate uh, lens of the members to be coped and cut uh, trim extent is very helpful it uh, gives us the profile around uh, that structure which is which is it uh, intersecting uh, thank you